Hi there folks, Root Beer here, and I think I would say this is probably the first interesting uh, Apollonius construction that we're going to see. Uh, we've seen things like line, 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 but that's really just in circles and X circles and, you know, point, point, line. Yeah, there's some math going on there, but this is the one, the first one that I would say is interesting, and that's point, line, circle, PLC. Not only is it uh, the only one that involves all three of them, so I think it's neat from that perspective, but the way we handle it is something that we're going to have uh, pop up a couple more times, and that is reducing the problem to, to a simpler one. Now, we've already sort of uh, seen that before. Anytime I've said, well, let's just use the, the circle through three points tool to finish things off, we've technically been reducing it down to the point, 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 or PPP, Apollonius problem. Uh, but this time we're going to be reducing to a different problem. So we've got a point, a line, and a circle, and we want uh, to find the circles. There's going to be four of them in general, which are tangent to both the line, the given circle, and pass through this point. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a second point and reduce this to point, point, line. Okay. So what, what are we to do? Well, we've got our given point, uh, our line, and our circle. Notice some obvious things like the circle can't contain the point and, you know, the line can't separate uh, the point and the circle. The obvious things. But um, in general, what are we to do? Well, we can find the midpoint of our circle. Or not the midpoint. It's good the midpoint tool, but it's the, the center of our circle. And, you know, if you don't trust this tool, of course, just pick... Uh, three arbitrary points on this circle and use perpendicular bisectors. And that would be perfectly fine as well. But we get the center here and we are going to drop a perpendicular line, perpendicular to the line passing through this center. Now this gives us points of intersection with the circle. Okay. And uh, we also have uh, of particular interest is this uh, point of, of intersection where it's perpendicular with the given line and sort of this, uh, you might call it an extended diameter uh, of the circle is another way to view it. Okay. So uh, what, are, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to uh, connect up with one of the, the end points of this diameter uh, the line to our given point. Uh, now, depending on which endpoint of the diameter we choose, will give us two different circles. It'll give us a, 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 a different second point, and that gives us four circles overall in general. So uh, we're just going to pick this sort of top point here, and then I'll, I'll do the other construction here, but I, just, I don't want things to get cluttered, so I'm not going to do them both at the same time. Okay. So, um... What else do we need? We need the intersection point here with this line here, um, but we don't need we don't need that yet. That's just me getting ahead of myself. Um, what we need is that second point, and it's going to lie somewhere in here. So what what can we do to get this second point? Well, we're going to pass uh, a brand new circle through uh, the the intersection of the extended diameter and the given line, the given point and the end point of the diameter that we didn't use. Okay. So now if we intersect it with this, uh, this line from the end point that we did use, we get two points here, one of which is uh, not selectable. Uh, all right, we'll have to do this old school. Um, point on both of them. There we go. Okay, I suppose I could have made that a little clearer for myself by moving around my given point. But we get these two points, one of which is uh, the point that we are given, and this other one is our second point. Okay. Now uh, this point and this point, we can extend it down here. We can do all the usual PPL stuff that we're going that uh, we've seen before. So uh, let's go through that. How did, how did we do PPL? Well, we get the, the point intersection here. And then uh, we get ourselves um, a circle going through the two outer points. 
and then we get a perpendicular line going through the middle of these points. In this case, it's the given point that we have here. And that intersects these two here. And now line there, and we get more intersections. So these should be our tangent points to the line, and now we've reduced it from uh, PPL to PPP. Now let's clean things up a little bit. There we go. We'll st uh, we don't need this midpoint anymore, but we'll still need these guys in a moment. But let's take a look here. Uh, oh, it's PPL. Or sorry, it's PPP that we reduced it to. So, um, oh, I got rid of my second point. Ah, I'm going to get rid of all these again. I have to keep this point here. There we go. So now we circle through three points. One, two, three, and that's tangent. And then one, two, three, and that's tangent. So now we've got two circles, and that was by choosing this top point to connect up to our given, our given uh, pink point. What if we had used the bottom one? Okay. Now I admit they look very parallel there in order to actually make the construction somewhat reasonable. There we go. So uh, what did we need to do? Intersection there is important, and then the circle going through this perpendicular point, the other end point that we didn't use, and the given point here. And that has another point intersecting on this line right here. So there's our other secondary point. Get rid of these to avoid some confusion. Okay. And now it's basic PP, uh, yeah, PPL construction. And we can actually uh, get rid of all this other stuff because uh, we're going to get our final two circles now. So uh, we have the intersection point with this line. Now same construction as before. Midpoint, create circle. Perpendicular line through our extra point. That has intersections. Choose either one, doesn't matter which, with our original intersection point. And that gives us two intersection points with the pink line that we originally started with. Now let's be careful to make sure we don't hide our second point over here again. Get rid of the midpoint, get rid of that intersection. There we go. And now we use the circle through three points, or PPP case. And there we go. And that guy's just, he's a big circle, but he's just tangent there. And this one will just be tangent on the outside. So there we have it. And let's uh, let's be classy and hide all our other points. And there you have it. Four solutions to PLC or point line circle. And we can even move some of these around to make the picture look a little nicer. We'll move it down a little bit, see if we can't get that other big circle in here a little bit. There we go, that looks nice. There we go, point, line, circle, and we have four solutions, just like the line, line, line uh, situation, but I think this one is a little more interesting. We had some reduction, and uh, it, it actually wasn't that hard a construction, too. Center of uh, this circle, get you sort of an extended diameter, and using each of those endpoints in various ways, we reduce it to point to point line, which is a situation we'd already encountered. Okay, so there you have it. And uh, 
make some very big circles here if we want. But thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you for more of the problem of Apollonius in the next video. So long for now.